Well, from the double stabbing over the weekend to the fatal carjacking in New Orleans, the state is still seeing an increase in the number of violent crimes, especially involving our kids. Yeah, just terrible. NBC Local 33's Rachel Riley explains. I can't tell you how many students I have seen that, that have come through my classrooms that are either now dead or they are in jail. More and more juveniles are being locked up because of violent crimes. Darius Lane is with 100 Black Men, who is also in the EBR school board, says this is heartbreaking to see. They are in a state where they have to protect themselves and also they're in a state where they have to take care of themselves. The former teacher says the biggest slap in the face is children being tried as adults. You don't scare kids by trying to uh, make them see things through the, uh, the lens of an adult because what you find is that they're already living like that and it's based off the conditions of the neighborhoods where they live. Until we put more holistic family approaches and supports in those areas, you're not going to change anything. Lannis believes many of these youth crimes are gang related. Even when you look at the deaths or the assassinations, as I would call them around our city, um, these things are coordinated and they're specifically uh, tied to gang related culture. Senator Bill Cassidy is zeroing in on crimes happening in the state. One example is the deadly carjacking in New Orleans that left a woman dismembered last week. I'm constantly hearing from folks that they're afraid to walk the streets in a city that they love. He says he's in the middle of crafting legislation to help reduce crime in Louisiana. I'll be announcing a package of bills shortly in Congress to help address rising crime rates. He plans to release those details in the next few weeks. Rachel Riley, NBC Local 33 News. All right, let's turn our attention to that.